fall. Yeah. Uh, I was looking at what's known as malicious, uh, characterized by, prompted by, resulting from, or involving uh, malice. Malicious injury, for example, is injury that is wrongful, intentional, and without legal justification or uh, excuse. <laughs> Malicious mischief is the willful, unlawful damaging or destruction of another's property done with, uh, done with, uh, what's that say? Done with ill will uh, toward the property's owner or uh, possessor. Malicious prosecution is uh, civil or criminal. Uh, prosecution that is begun with the intention of injuring the defendant without probable cause to believe that the charges can be uh, sustained mm -hmm. and which is and which is uh, terminated mm -hmm. terminated uh, in favor of the defendant C section 40 mm -hmm. Malicious abuse of process is the willful misapplication or uh, misuse of process to accomplish an unlawful purpose. Yeah. Now, I can understand that when the state of Washington decided that they were going to be the plaintiff, <laughs> it must be malicious abuse of process on the part of the people of the state of Washington to not only uh, do what their own laws require when it says that the petitioner has an action uh, that they want and not uh, obligate the petitioner to actually identify themselves. You know, when I email those that are civil service employees and they say, well, it's not my jurisdiction, I'm not getting involved, okay? I've got to watch my own monthly nut. <laughs> and I go through the retirements of every employee for the last 60 years that's gotten paid as a civil service employee from every locale, every state and the federal government, and I ask them, well, you can have no allegiance to any other form of government. Now, there is a certain point that when the United States government refuses to enforce the laws of the United States, and then instead of it being the city of Squim, that's uh, the named plaintiff that is, that is versus myself as an American citizen, Paul C. Budnick, the outlaw. Uh, and then they changed to the state of Washington is now the plaintiff. It could be that every state of the United States that has allowed the state of Washington as the plaintiff against myself when they know that the state did not issue the protection order according to the rules of the state. Now, it looks to me like malicious injury, malicious mischief, mm -hmm, and uh, malicious abuse of process. Mm -hmm. Now, when you start talking about malicious injury, it's not just the injury of six years of being deprived of my sons and being able to father them and celebrate all the holidays and, and Fourth of July and Christmases and Easter and birthdays and all the the times we could have had together. <laughs> it's that when I inform those in office that are civil service employees, every sworn oath, <laughs> and those that are uh, uh, obligated to have no other allegiance except for the United States of America, and no one emails me. It's definitely malicious injury. <laughs> Now, I would say malicious mischief is when any person in office that receives their income from any any local uh, city or county or any state or, or the United States federal government, all of those in law enforcement, it's malicious mischief to obstruct my use of the Internet, hack my email so that I can't contact those in law enforcement, and then to stand back and say, well, we don't know what the problem is. We really have no idea.
really. I would say that's malicious mischief on the part of every employee of every form of government in the United States. They think it's funny when you obstruct a citizen's right to email those that have sworn no other allegiance other than the allegiance to the government that employs them. Now, malicious prosecution is a civil or criminal prosecution that when you arrest an American citizen because you issued a protection order that was not issued according to the laws of the state, violates the VAWA, <laughs> violates the Domestic Violence Protection Act, <laughs> violates every state constitution, and in my own personal life experience, violates the Bill of Rights in the United States Constitution, as well as uh, numerous other amendments <laughs> and articles of the, of the United States Constitution. And then you, you name yourself as the, of the plaintiff <laughs> of the state of Washington. Seems to me that every state that has allowed the state of Washington to involve them in what the state of Washington is doing and has done to myself has allowed for the malicious prosecution of American citizens. When the state named themselves the state of Washington plaintiff versus defendant Paul C. Budnick, the state of Washington became the malicious prosecutor, the malicious injurer, the malicious mischief, and the malicious abuse of process. <laughs>